justification free whites on the 1790 census and up until the 1840 census. And the description of these people is also a perfect match with who Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. made reference to during this meeting. At the very same time that America refused to give the Negro any land, through an act of Congress, our government was giving away millions of acres of land in the West and the Midwest which meant that it was willing to undergird its white peasants from Europe with an economic floor. Which meant that it was willing to undergird its white peasants from Europe with an economic floor. But not only did they give the land, they built land-grant colleges with government money to teach them how to farm. Not only that, they provided county agents to further their expertise in farming. Not only that, they provided low interest rates in order that they could mechanize their farms, in order that they could mechanize their farms. Not only that, today many of these people are receiving millions of dollars in federal subsidies not to farm, and they are the very people telling the black man that he ought to lift himself by his own bootstraps. Now, this is what we are faced with, and this is the reality. Now, when we come to Washington in this campaign, we are coming to get our check, to get our check. These get foreign check. peasants or criminals of other countries later became who was known as the nativist of the 1850 period that I mentioned earlier in this segment and they encountered many obstacles while attempting to survive in unfamiliar territories of America, like attempting to validate themselves as residents, for example, because of the millions of the indigenous Niji already inhabiting Turtle Island and governing themselves just fine, all while controlling the trading system of their crops grown and other useful resources. So prior to these foreigners becoming nativist of America, they needed to quell the raids and revolts of Indian resistance and make new deals with their tribal leaders in order to persuade them into a false hope of equality. Peace treaties were written as promissory notes of the foreigners to the Indians, asking for their agricultural assistance while promising that all men are created equal in return. But it's quite obvious that promise was broken due to the systematic implementation